All right, everybody. Yeah, so that is me at my first wow. ever Marvel movie premiere with a signed helmet. It looks like it has almost every single person's signature from the cast. Um, this was a really exciting moment for me to be at the pivotal Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania film starting phase five. It was very overwhelming and exciting. My friend Dom, who in this next photo, um, she actually invited me as a guest. She gets invited as a cosplay guest. So she invited me and I was like, absolutely, yes, I will cosplay. I'm new to it, but I will come <laughs> as Scott Lang, who works at Baskin Robbins. And I, th I thought I was going to be the only one there, but literally there was only one other person there dressed as me and we stood right next to each other. It was crazy how it turned out. <laughs> but I, I wow. was like, wow, it's crazy, you know, but it, it was it was fun. It was literally the most memorable and exciting time of my life. It, I feel like it was a dream, a fever dream. It doesn't even seem real even a week and a half later. Um, and then we met the cast and we started off. I don't even know what order the photos are in. So we're right, gonna... just go to the next one. Okay, first uh. we met Kevin Feige. Listen, you guys, this is not the robot in She-Hulk. This is the real deal. Um, and this was just so crazy. It was so surreal to meet the man, the myth, the legend. And we met some of the other cast. Um, first up from the... Oh, this actually isn't from the cast. This is Riri Williams, Dominique Thorne. This was mm -hmm. super cool. I did not expect anybody else from like other movies to be here. And she took my phone from me. I went to go get a photo. She took my phone, took it over to her side, recorded a video. And I was like, oh, my gosh, yes, that's totally fine. Take all the videos you want. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you want with my phone. Just, yeah. And so, yeah, that was super fun. Um, and now I think we start actually getting into the real cast, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. Well, kind of. This is the director, Peyton Reed. And he, he was actually really fun. He was talking about um because i think he did the last i don't know if he's done all three um but i know he definitely did ant-man and the wasp um and he was just talking about how doing the films was really exciting and fun um and now we actually start getting into the cast i'm like nine yeah exactly mm. here's the cast this is the newest edition who we are going to speak about tony set up coming up here cassie lane Catherine newton um i had to ask her about her show on netflix we were talking about those netflix shows getting canceled the society probably one of the most well-known ones was canceled after season one and she confirmed season two does exist somewhere in the multiverse so i want to pull <laughs> a wanda scarlet witch find america chavez and have her take me to that universe um <laughs> But then the next person that I got to meet was ah. <laughs> this is a returning character. Uh, this is Corey Stoll, a.k.a. Darren Cross. He was Yellow Jacket in the first Ant-Man and he comes back as Modoc in this one. And he, he was honestly so sweet. He was super funny. Um, but he was one of the returning characters in this film that we didn't expect until a few months ago when they released the trailer and we got Modoc. But he was probably one of the funniest parts of the film. And then we got, ah, oh, this is, this one is one of the only people in, actually the only of Scott Lang's original friends to come back in this film as a different character. So David Dashmulchin, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, Dashmulchin, um, he played Kirk, Kurt, I believe it was, in the first two Ant-Man. He was one of the three friends that robbed with Scott. Um, and then... I love the way he did the whole Bobby Yaga thing in the second one. That was yes. just so much fun. Yes, exactly. He was, They were just like the comedy of the movies. And, and Luis and Dave did not come back in this one, but he came back as this new character, Veb, which is a really funny character in the film as well. Um, so it was cool to see him. He was super sweet, and he took time to make sure to talk to everybody and ask you how you were doing. He was honestly probably one of the sweetest besides uh, Jonathan Majors, who was absolutely amazing. And then oh, next, he, played the, he played the jelly guy. Yes, yep, Veb. Oh, the, the whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite yeah. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. that's a yes. Oh, man, sorry. Go ahead. That's just... No, you're all good. He just had the realization. No, that's all good. Yeah, and then oh. we met Kane the Conqueror. He winked at me, and then he fist bumped me cause, <laughs> later on because I was like, Creed 3 is my multiverse of madness, so he had to give me the fist bump of approval. But he was honestly so sweet. He talked to my friend Dom, and she talked about how she's an actress, and he's like, I can't wait to be in a movie with you someday. Very sweet, down-to-earth guy. That's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. And then we met the Wasp, Evangeline Lilly. She was absolutely 
she was so sweet and so beautiful it was crazy to be like in her presence i've been a fan of her for such a long time and then finally oh my gosh we got to meet <laughs> paul rudd scott lang himself i don't know how i composed myself and did not faint right there because i absolutely love paul rudd since i was like five years old watching him on friends but um yeah so this is who we got to meet i don't think there's anybody else yeah that's that all that so i will i will tell you it. this <laughs> i will it. tell you this like my mom has never been a big about watching superhero films and she definitely doesn't like big action but when we when she knew that Paul Rudd was a part of it, we've seen every Ant Man that's been available for her to watch. So, oh, yeah, she awesome. she likes she likes Paul Rudd and she likes Mark Ruffalo. So, um, yeah, yeah, those are yeah. Those no, are I Paul Rudd. When I met him, I promised my best friend when I if I met him, I would tell him that she loves him. So I was so like in the moment excited. I didn't say my name. I said, "Hey, Paul, my best friend Jesse loves you," and he was just like. Thanks, Jesse. So Paul Rudd knows who my best friend Jesse is and said thank you to her, but he has no idea who I am. So, Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Um, but there will always be more chances. I, th this is definitely not going to be your last red carpet. We, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, you've got a bright future when it comes to doing these things and covering this stuff. So, um, yeah, and, and your I, interviews have always been spot on. So, But I do have a couple of questions. So, like again, like for those who don't know, because this is – your classic red carpet is usually people walk down, there's media doing interviews. What set the scene for me too? Like, cause this is super cool that you were talking to people. That's, I feel like that's kind of unique to Marvel. I, I Star Wars, I think does it too. Star Wars has like really cool, like installations and stuff like that. Tell me like what that's like, because it's, a, that's it's my a grandma. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. <laughs> I picked the right one to show. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to know what it was like. I mean, I really want to know. I want to get like a, a kind of like some of the color from it because it, the setup and and how how like how you were able to talk to people because that's super cool and unique that they sit there and they'll they'll talk to fans and talk to people that are on the carpet and really kind of like engage. That's amazing and unique and such a such a like once in a lifetime experience. No, and, and it really was. So, okay, so I've been to three movie premieres. This is my first Marvel one. Um, I went to one in May. It was a Netflix, actually at the same theater that this one was at. It was super cool. Um, but it was um, an Adam Sandler one, the Hustle one. Yep. And that one, I just got, went for like one iota. You just stood. You didn't really get to do anything. Mm -hmm. Were you like went, behind like a chain link fence? Or something yeah, like? you were. They had like a basketball set up because it was a basketball movie, mm -hmm. so it was like a basketball cage. But you sat on bleachers. You didn't really get to meet them, anything like that. Um, and then I went to Bros, where I walked the carpet, and I mean that's everybody's dream to walk a carpet at a movie premiere, and that is a little bit more intimidating because then you have to go and up to the stars and ask them for a picture that's up to you to do that i actually almost preferred the cosplay pit where i was for ant-man and the lost quantumania or the fan pit at other movie premieres because the stars come up to you they yeah. take pictures with you they'll like say hi they'll sign things whereas if you do see them when you walk the carpet you see them after you're in it in the event like i said you can maybe go and ask them a picture but not an autograph or anything like that it's much more I feel personal and everything when you're actually in the cosplay pit. So yeah, the, how it was set up, it was, we had the main cosplay pit. And then the, when they did the live stream, they had the stage right there. And then after the stars walked in for the cosplay pit, they did their interviews for the live stream. They walked through this tunnel where all they did, like their Getty images, they had photo opportunities. They had the interviewers like from different media sources and things like that, doing all the interviews. We didn't get mm -hmm. to see all of that. That happened after, you know, they came and took their pictures with us and they walked through that. Um, so I honestly, I would, it really has its advantages and disadvantages like walking versus being in the pit, but I preferred the pit, honestly, yeah. a lot of standing and, but you got to meet so many people when you when you go and walk it, you have to go and do that all yourself. And it, it can be a little bit intimidating. But when you're in that pit, you have no choice but to sit there and talk to people. You're standing there mushed together for hours. And it was yeah. a really great experience. I met so many friends and stuff that I never would have if I walked the carpet. And 